Hey y'all, it's Joe Grotesque, and today I want to talk about something that's very important to pop culture history, and that's comic books. Or graphic novels if you want to be a snob about it. Now comics on their own are pretty awesome, but considering the fact that comic book movies encompass a large part of the movie market these days, the fact that there's video games based on comics, card and board games based off comics, well, you can see where I'm going with this. And you know, now that I think about it, that can actually be kind of mirrored in the fact that there's comic books based off of video games, action figure lines, animated TV shows, and movies. And that's why I'm going to keep this introduction short, because I want to share with you guys my favorite box of comics. Now these range over comics that are based off of 80s and 90s cartoon shows, video games, and various things in pop culture. So, let's take a look! Now, I'm not going to go over every single one of these comics, but I do want to pick out quite a few to share with you guys that I think you'll like the most. Uh, let's see. Here's the first issue of Mad Balls. Now, there's an example of a toy line being turned into a comic book. I actually got quite a few of those. And another. And another. And this is actually one that's kind of friggin hilarious. And not easy to find. And that is Care Bears Meet the Mad Balls. Here's one most of you should know. And that's Mask. Number one from DC Comics. Who remembers these guys? Sectars, one of those Tim Clark creations, you know, the guy that created Boglins. This is an awesome action figure line that doesn't get enough credit. Gotta have you some Silverhawks. There's Silverhawks number one from Marvel Star Comics. I've actually got quite a few issues of Silverhawks as well. Here's one based on a video game that you don't see every day, and that's Bayou Billy, number one, from Archie Comics. Let's see here. Now here's one that's based off of a movie, The Toxic Avenger. For whatever reason, it seems like a lot of people don't know that Marvel put out Toxic Avenger comics. More people are aware of the Toxic Crusaders ones, which I actually have some of those as well. There's, there's Toxic Crusaders number one and number two. I love the Sam Keith variant covers. I really wish this would have been the cover for number one though. It's pretty awesome. And you just can't have comics based off of 80's cartoons without He-Man himself. There's Masters of the Universe number one by DC. There's also a Marvel Star series which I think I have one of but But we'll move to something else for right now. How about Inhumanoids? Once again from Marvel Star Comics. I actually have issues 1 through 4 of this. It's an obscure toy line and cartoon, but one of my favorites. Ah, here's Adventures of the Super Mario Brothers, number 1 from Valiant Comics. I never saw that coming when this came out. Valiant Comics releasing it? That's a pretty big thing. Another comic that's based off of a TV series, The A-Team. Man, Mr. T is just one of the biggest icons of 80's pop culture. Moving on over to Captain N, one of my favorite cartoons from the late 80s. If you've never watched this cartoon, watch my video about it and watch the cartoon. There's a couple of Police Academy comics.
<laughs> Double Dragon number one. Now, I guess this is more based off of the actual video game, but there was a cartoon series for this, and this comic is really like neither. Got quite a few Ren and Stimpy comics. <laughs> Beavis and Butthead, number one. Got quite a few Beavis and Butthead comics. This is actually a very funny comic. It's a lot like watching the show, but in comic form. It's always good to have some Thundercats. Let's see, what else? What else? Oh, there's one of the Marvel Masters of the Universe comics I was talking about. Gotta have G.I. Joe. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? Ah, oh, Transformers Headmasters. This was kind of a weird time in Transformers history, but I really dug it as a kid. And the comic's not half bad. Now, even though I love Voltron, this is not a very good adaptation in comic form. He deserved way better, even though I realize there's more recent Voltron comics out these days, but you would think during the time period he was popular, he would have got better than this. But it's kind of cool to have just because it's a Voltron comic. Here's kind of a random one based on a movie. Little Monsters. This is number three. This was a six issue mini series. But I've never found another issue of this. Here's another one that reeks of the 80s. And that's a labyrinth. Good old David Bowie. Rest in peace. I guess I want to close out with a couple of little special things that are actually more recent releases but are based off of 80's franchises. One being the Garbage Pell Kids Putacular One-Shot. And then on the reverse side I have Close Encounters of the Turd Kind. And so just to put a little proverbial icing on the cake close it out with some sketch covers of uh, Garbage Pail Kids Go Hollywood. This sketch cover was done by my friend Jeff Zapata. He's responsible for a lot of uh, the cool stuff that came out with Garbage Pail Kids in the mid 2000s to early 20 teens. I love this little cover. And here's a sketch cover of the Garbage Pail Kids Putacular that I did. Nat Nerd. It doesn't really compare to Jeff's, does it? Oh, and I think I have a Ninja Turtles one that I did in here too. There it is. This is to IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe number one. It's my little chibi raft. And I guess I'm going to end it with that, you guys. If you want to share your favorite comics, please do so in the comments below. Let me know if you like this kind of video. If not, no hard feelings. But if you do, hit that like button. And let me know if you dug it. And maybe we'll do something like this in the future. Until next time, take care.